Hey guys, Mr. Moopig9 here, and today I am back with another Minecraft Pocket Edition tutorial video. And I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can apply your skin to the game. So there are two ways to do this. You can do it through a jailbroken iDevice or through your computer. Now I know many of you have updated to iOS 7 and are not jailbroken as of the moment. So if that is your case, go ahead and check the description below for a little time mark that indicates what time you need to skip to in this video in order to get to the computer tutorial. So the first half will be for the jailbroken iDevice, the second half will be for the computer. So check the little watermark or the little time mark in the description below if you are not jailbroken. All right, so if you are, props to you. Great job for staying on iOS 6. I know it's kind of tempting to update, but I'm glad I'm still here and jailbroken. So let's go ahead and get on with this tutorial. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up iFile. If you don't have it, go to Cydia, type in iFile in the little search bar and download it. It's a very common application, so a very common application. So if you do not have it, something's wrong with you. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead uh, and go to the home. Just click this little home button right here, and it'll take you to this page. Um, so as you can see, there's applications, documents, downloads, library, and media. What you're going to want to do is have your skin file in your camera roll. Um, and I would definitely recommend putting it as your last and latest picture so it's very easy to find. You don't have to navigate around um, and search around for it. So once that's in your camera roll saved um, there, go ahead and open up media. Um, and basically the reason you have to have it in your camera roll is you have to get it uh, over uh, and copied in iFile here. So go ahead and go to media, hit DCIM, and there will be um, one, two, five, or six folders, I don't know, it depends on how many uh, p photos you have in your library. I have 100 something, so there's this exact amount of folders for that. Um, so the first one will contain like 1 through 40 or something. Uh, the second one will have like 40 through 80, and this one will have the last one. So go to the latest um, Apple one, these bottom two, I, you guys probably don't have these, I don't know why they're there. Uh, scroll down all the way to the bottom if your picture is the last one. And hit image viewer, viewer, just check and make sure it's your skin, this one's mine. Go ahead and exit out of that. Hit the little edit button in the top right corner of the screen. Click on it so that it's checkmarked. And go down to the bottom clipboard, open that up, and copy it. Now exit out of this. Um, you're done here. All you can do is click this little home button and go right back to where you started from. So now that you've got your skin file actually copied, what you're going to want to do now is go into Applications, scroll down until you find the Minecraft PE dot app or whatever, the little folder that says Minecraft PE. Now, if it's just a bunch of random numbers, uh, there's a way you can fix this. Go ahead and go to uh, the little settings down here in the bottom. Go to, let's see, File Manager right here, and application names will either be on or off. I have them turned on so you can actually read them. Um, if it's off for you, it's going to look like this bunch of random numbers. Uh, it's very hard to navigate and find yourself um, what apps you're going to want to open. So just go ahead and turn that application's names on if you haven't already. So you can find Minecraft PE from there. And what you're going to want to do now is, and while you're in this little area right here, you see Documents Library, Minecraft PE app. All you have to do, um, I just deleted that, you don't have to actually do that. Go ahead and hit edit, and go down to your little clipboard, and hit paste. So this will copy whatever your image number is into this section of the um, Minecraft PE folders. Now this is not, um, you're not done yet. Go ahead and click this little blue arrow, and it'll open up your file attributes, and it'll say name right here. What you're going to want to do is rename this to char dot p and g c h a r dot p and g no spaces at all um, go ahead and hit done and once you're done with that go ahead hit edit once more time and open up your clipboard uh, or not not your clipboard go ahead and hit edit select it now that it's renamed to chart png and copy it now or it, you can cut it if you don't want it to be there um, i'm going to go ahead and cut it real quick just because i don't want it to the leftovers to be there still um, and once you're done with copying it go ahead and open up the minecraft pe dot app scroll down a little bit and you'll see this chart up png full or file um, this is the original stevie skin or whatever steve um, 
So, basically what you're going to be doing is replacing that, so hit edit one, once more, go to the little clipboard, and hit paste. It'll ask you to overwrite, click yes, and as you can see, if you open up the chart of PNG file here, it will be your updated skin, whatever your skin happens to be. So, that is pretty much the tutorial for iOS. If you're having any problems, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. So, if you are down, or if you're jailbroken, this is the end of the video for you. If you want to know how you do it on your computer, just stay uh, for the rest of the video. But that is it. Thank you all for watching. If you're for the computer part, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so now we are finished with the iOS tutorial. Let's go ahead and get into how you can do it on your computer. So what you're going to want to do is have your skin file on your desktop. Um, just if it's in your downloads folder or somewhere else, just drag it to your desktop to make things easy. Um, what you're going to need is an application known as iFunBox. If you don't already have it, I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can have easy access. Go download that real quick, and once you're done, come right back. All right, so if you have the application installed and you've got your, um, if you got your skin file on your desktop like I do, what you're going to do is open up iFunBox after you've plugged in your phone or whatever device you are um, actually going to be playing Minecraft PE on. Go plug that into your computer and let it load up here and click all the way to the left where it says iFunBox Classic and you'll see a bunch of random files and folders and things. What you're going to want to do is go over to where it says user applications, open that up, double click, and then find down... Uh, the little list there, uh, find Minecraft PE. Now you're going to go ahead and open that up and you'll get a bunch of little folders here. What you're going to do now is go back to your desktop and right click on your skin file. It'll open up a bunch of options. Go down to rename and rename it char.png. C-H-A-R dot P-N-G. No spaces in there. Um, once that's renamed, go back to iFunBox and go ahead and open up the Minecraft PE dot app folder. Uh, now a bunch of little things will load up here, and as you can see, uh, there's already a chart PNG file in the game. That is your default Steve skin. Um, what you're going to do with that is go ahead and right click on it in iPhone box, and go down to delete. We don't need this any longer. Go ahead and drag your chart PNG file from the desktop, which is the skin you want to change it to. Um, into that folder and you are pretty much good to go um, once that it's done copying or whatever you can just exit out of iPhone box unplug your phone open up Minecraft PE and voila your skin will be applied and everything will be nice and perfect just the way you want it so if this worked for you be sure to go ahead and leave a like on this video I don't know why it wouldn't um, if I left something out or you guys need help with something Always feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below, and I'll read that up and provide any help I can provide. So, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and that is it for this tutorial. Thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you all soon. Bye, everybody.